It's exciting right from the start. It's fun, even while you're learning. It's bowling, America's most popular sport for men, women, youngsters, families. And here's the show that brings you all of the fun and the excitement of today's bowling, television's most popular bowling show, Bowling Stars. Now, for the play-by-play, -play, here's your bowling sportcaster, Whispering Joe Wilson. Hi, friends. How are you? Welcome to Bowling Stars, brought to you from Fates Neeson Recreation in Chicago. Johnny King shows 117 to the fifth and a spare, and Billy Wheeler on a five bagger knows that little short of going all the way can make up this margin, but it's there to be made up on six. Look out, look out, look out! Well, that certainly takes care of that. Billy who has suffered rails in the first game, the 5-7 on this same lane, 6 in the second frame, and the 4-7-10 on 6 in the sixth frame, none of which he was able to convert, now has the 4-6. Going for count, going for count. Four pin down, he is open. And the splendid drive of five straight strikes ends with an open in the sixth for 146. And that means his lead now is nine pins for the game, and he trails by 60 for the match. There he is, coming back again. And boy, this is a different situation now. Johnny King with 117 through the fifth in the spare. To Billy's 146 through the sixth in a strike. If he can match the strike, will trail by nine pins and lead by 60 with only five more shots to be made on six. <gasps> he threw that out there. No, and it's a one, two, eight tandem left against him. Well, 60 pins is a long, long way to go. But he's waiting a little. A one, two, eight to cover. And this takes a little covering. He's going to take it left side. Notice. Gee, blows it, leaving the eight pin standing. And Johnny King is open like Billy Wheeloo. And now, with 143 through the seventh and nothing going to Billy's 146 through the sixth and a strike, Johnny could conceivably be down 33 for this game, which would put him up just 36 for the match. And this is a brand new contest. Johnny on five. That takes care of that. 143 through the seventh and a strike. Now Billy Wheeloo will have to match it. He'll have to double and start up where he left off. But the opportunity is there, and it's mathematically so possible. Bingo! For a double. Every ball is strike except that open. 146 through the sixth and a double to 143 through the seventh and a single strike. And Billy Wheeloo can be up by 33 pins for this game, which would put him 36 off for this match. All our scoring, incidentally, is based on the premise of a strike in the succeeding frame. Billy on five. Well, that's it. Almost a 5-10, as it is the 5-pin to shoot for, and we're getting just down far enough now so that you have to have every strike unless you're going to hope for opens on the part of your opponent. Ah, it's out. And 
and it gives it. 195 through the eighth to despair. Johnny King, who can now rise within 22 pins for this game, would go in 47 off. I think I said 47 off, uh, 47 ahead, of course. All right, Johnny, 143 through the seventh and a double leading him. Through eight frames, Johnny can be within 22 sticks for the game and 47 ahead, and he can raise that to 57 going into the 10th frame. So, take a good look at this fellow. He beat Billy once, he's about to do it again. pin left up. Johnny King incidentally needed a 204 to get into the bonus money going in off a of 496. And he of course could have shot there 233. As it is he can still top that bonus money if he gets this. And there it is for one more shot for John King. 192 through the ninth, and the spare up that means 212 if he can strike out. So we will have another plus 700 series, and Johnny King has had four of them. This one will make five out of his six matches over 700. Think of that, 701, 757, 738, 715. And every step of that last mile, for 20 pins in the 10th frame and 212 for Johnny King. And now Billy Wheelu, who can win the second game as the third game as he won the second. Oh, five nine left against him on the crossover. So he can still win it, of course. He has more pins through nine frames than Johnny has through ten but it would have been fun to see him shoot the 245. Oh! Gee whiz. Open as he picks the cherry. And a 222, nine pins in the 10th frame. And the winner of the third and final game, Billy Wheelu over Johnny King, 222 to 212. We'll be back with the totals and the awards in just a moment. Well, we're getting into the realm of almost the unbelievable. First of all, the statistics at hand. Winner of the third game, as he was of the second, 222 to 212, was Billy Wheelu. It was not enough for the match, of course, as he lost 708 to 649 by 59 pins. But we get into a situation with Johnny King before I call up Billy Wheelu while I still remember these numbers, of a man now who has bowled six times and has shot over 700 in five of those six. 701, 757, 738, 715, and now 708. Falling below 700 only when he was beaten by Carmen Salvino with a 638. This averages up to 236 plus and to state that a little differently so that it might even make more impact, when you think of it this way, every time this fellow takes this competition, this means his average says he has to shoot 708 plus. That's quite an assignment when you start out. Tremendous shooting. He is now the richest man of anyone who has competed here. We'll tell you a little more about that when we give him his money. That, of course, is John King. But first, let's hear it for Billy Wheelu. <laughs> Bill, it was a brilliant charge. Well, I got a little too far back, Joe. Had a chance and threw that one bad ball in the last game, and that, that ended it all. You know, when you were making that charge, I was so much concerned with how you were creeping up that I completely forgot the fact that you were working on the $10,000 game. 
I had you thought about that? No, I wasn't really thinking about that, Joe. I was just trying to make up those 69 pins. Well, that was all that was in my mind, too. Incidentally, we have a little time, Billy, and I noticed that you're using an offset, a little uh, akin to what Joe Kristoff has used, and I wonder, if we have the time, would you get your ball Surely. and tell us how it's drilled and why you use it that way? Can we show it here so that they yes, can get a good can. look at it? Joe, the reason for it being drilled in this manner goes way back to the time when I used to use a two-fingered ball, and I smashed I my hand in a car door accident, and I don't have the strength now. Mm -hmm. So I experimented with a type of a grip that would permit me to roll similar to a two-fingered ball. So I have this one finger drill to fingertip depth, and the other one to semi-fingertip with the fingertip overlapping the shorter finger. I so that the two fingers serve as one, if you can see how mm -hmm. they're in the ball. Mm -hmm. One is almost over the top and they come out and work together so it's like one big finger in the ball. But I want to make one point of note here. It's not recommended for the beginner or the novice bowler. Okay, swell. Bill, this is recommended for any bowler. $649. Thank you very much, Thank Joe. Thank you very it's much. Nice to be here. Wonderful match. Billy Wheeler! <laughs> one further thing about Mr. King. His lowest game is still 203. He's the only bowler in the series, if memory serves me, who has not shot under 200. Want to see what he looks like? Here he is in close up, John King. John, you are a wealthy man and getting richer by the moment. Your bonus money here is $80. You get $1,000 for winning again, giving you a total of $1,080. This gives you a total overall of $6,828, which makes you now first in earnings. Carmen Salvino had been with $6,705, and you can add to that next week if you will return. I'll take a chance. All right, bye. Johnny King! Bowling star, a man who has shot 835 and 300 on this pair, Lindy Farragalli. Till then, Joe Wilson, good luck and good shooting, everyone. If you've enjoyed watching Bowling Stars, enjoy the fun of bowling yourself. Make a date soon to visit your local Magic Triangle Bowling Center and join the millions of men, women, and children who have made bowling America's number one sport. Thank you.